welcome to the Blundells BBC School Sport Report. First, it's football from the weekend. Arsenal have succeeded in confirming that neither Kieran Gibbs nor Alex Oxen-Chamberlain will be suspended following Saturday's red card mix mistake at Chelsea. Referee Andre Mariner sent off Gibbs instead of Oxlade-Chamberlain, who had handled a shot from Eden Hazard. The Football Association moved the red card to Oxlade-Chamberlain. Gunners successfully argued he had not stopped a goal-scoring chance given Hazard's shot was going wide. Mariner was also escape punishment. The 43-year-old official who apologised for mixing up the identities of the players will take charge of the Southampton's home game with Newcastle on Saturday. All four officials involved in Stamford Bridge will be in action this weekend. Rules drawn by the world governing body, FIFA, state a player should only be shown a red card for the handball if the unacceptable and the unfair interference prevented a goal being scored. It also said, while this was a difficult decision, Andre is dis disappointed that he failed to identify the correct player. He started his disappointment to Arsenal when he was made aware of the issue. UEFA spokesperson Pedro Pinto said the error highlighted the need for the extra goal, goal line officials. He tweeted, with an additional assistant referee on the end line, referee would not have got the sending off wrong. Technology is not the answer, more, more eyeballs are the answer. Arsenal were trailing 2 0 at the bridge when the defender Gibbs was mistakenly shown a red card. They eventually lost 6 0 with world class play by Chelsea attackers. The defeat dropped the Gunners to fourth place in the Premier League, seven points behind leaders Chelsea but with a game in hand. Now over to Joshua Huggett for some rugby news. Thank you, Jack. Some news about rugby. Jack Noel has suffered an unknown shoulder injury in his return game from the Six Nations against Leicester. They're running tests to try and find any sign of muscle tears and just to assess the damage. Rob Baxter, the Exeter Chief Coach, says that the England winger will not be able to play the clash against Gloucester. Now for some news on the European Cup. There, are, there has been debate on the format of the European Cup. There will be 20 teams instead of 24. These teams are France, England, Ireland, Wales, Scotland and Italy. One team from each Pro 12 countries will be guaranteed a place in the tournament, while the remaining spot will go to the winner of the playoff between the seventh place teams in England and France. Finally, England new boy George Ford stole the show on his return to Bath with a 24 point hold on Saturday. But it was in his defence that impressed the most, according to the coach Neil Haley. Now over to Louis Dellen for some athletics news. Thank you, Joshua. Double Olympic champion Mo Farah failed to ruin the race after being tripped up at the six mile mark, allowing eventual winner Jeff, Jeffrey Martin to break clear. Mo went to finish second. He was practicing for the London Marathon next month. Cram, who once held the world record for 1500, told the BBC that it wasn't how he wanted to feel at, and the headlines were very dramatic but it's not big, there's no big deal. Mo has been training in Italy and Kenya, so the trip to New York was a massive change of temperature. It was much colder than anyone would have been expecting for the middle of March. It would have united against him, uh, said the 53-year-old Fran. Before the race, Mo said, I'm targeting my own British half marathon record, which was 61 minutes. Mo will attempt to transfer his ability on the road when he races over 26.2 miles for the first time on the 13th of April. That's all from us at the Sport Report. Thank you.